Hello guys, today I will show you how to host a website on a localhost IIS uh, using both uh, HTML page and uh, ASP.NET or uh, Visual Studio. Okay, so let's begin with the HTML page. Um, for that, I need two HTML files and that needs to be within a folder and uh, we will be putting that folder to the www root okay uh, let me uh, okay the easiest method here is uh, go to c drive inet pub www root okay and uh, here you can add a new folder so I have some admin access issues here so it's only showing me folder it can also give you to create new files as well here like the word document notepad etc but I only get like add a new folder okay so let's put it like IIS hosting HTML okay alright so this is done and now I need to put two HTML files in it okay I uh, have already created some let me check that uh, okay so here these are two pages alright so uh, f one point to note here we need to have a file as index.html okay if it's an ASP.NET then it's, it has to have a default .aspx and in case of HTML uh, we need to have an index.html like the landing page okay so I'm taking these two files and I'm adding it into IIS hosting HTML paste here okay come on alright so both my pages are added here now let's go to IIS the INET manager and open IIS uh, the internet information service manager if you type in INET MGR you should get that IIS uh, window if it's not here then you have to turn the Windows features on for IIS and you should find it here once it's completely set up alright so uh, as it's already open let's just refresh that on my system and it should show up inside the default website folder here so this one okay alright so uh, you can see the browse option once I'm selecting it it's showing me the browse okay so huh, 80 it's taking up the 80 port number <coughs> IIS hosting HTML okay now you can see this there's a link to another page but that's not working okay so we need to think uh, need to make small changes then it should work oh okay okay I remember I didn't give it a um, a link to the other page so if I'm going here in index edit uh, open with where is the Notepad. Is it there? Not there. Okay, fine. Okay, so href equals to the other page's name HTML2 dot HTML. Okay, it's still letting me. I mean, it's telling me that I cannot save it here. Okay, fine. Cancel that. Uh -huh. Can't do anything much here. Okay, it won't let me try saving. Wait, wait. 
okay guys so we created the link and I'm going through the link and it's taking me to the second page now the second page should second page should bring me back to the home page tapping on that one I came back to the home page so HTML files are working fine now and they are hosted in the local host okay so uh, if I just copy this one and close this browser I go to the private window paste this here or until this perfect tap on the link working perfect okay so this is for a general HTML file so what do we remember like adding two HTML two or more HTML files into the WW root within a folder in C inet pub WW root within a folder okay and then uh, redirecting it from this browse uh, option here okay now <coughs> uh, you can also change the port number as well uh, I can show you how okay so this is one thing this is one way adding it into the II inet pub and the other way is uh, let's create a website physical path would be the path of the folder so for example I would map it to the actual existing path not not the one that is in um, your uh, um, IIS okay site name uh, let it be hosting HTML okay hosting HTML host name I'm not adding anything here and uh, this one you can put it using any IP address if no IP address then it will use the local host okay so let's put this IP address press OK so hosting HTML okay now you see this got it perfect okay so one thing IP address uh, the port number we will change the port number we go to the bindings edit port number I'll put it uh, something else because 80 is uh, a reserved port number right system reserved port number we will not use that one so now it's listening on port 860 links working perfectly and this one is hosted on the IP address okay and where here like a new site sites right click add website and then you make the changes bindings you change the port number from here okay uh, permissions you can do it here browse you can make it from here alright so this is hosting a general website like a general HTML page now let's do it using Visual Studio okay so what we are gonna do uh, Uh, we are going to open Visual Studio. Um, a new project or a new website. I'll take a new website. I don't have much, um, many things to write. So, ASP.NET empty website and uh, practice. Okay, let's uh, take it as. Set. Let's take it IIS web hosting. IIS web hosting as 2023. Okay. A blank website. Add uh, files like ASP files web form default. Okay. Let it be. 
we have to have a default .aspx for hosting our ASP.NET website. Okay, now this is the first page website. Okay, I want to copy, uh, but then I'll not. Let's say login ID. Okay, and a text box. So Uh, text box, where is it? Then a submit button, okay. and uh, suppose uh, I need another page for example to submit the dashboard I need a redirection so let's put in a website dashboard I made it short okay <laughs> it's not that I don't know the answer I'll just try okay so couple of things to remember when you are hosting a website uh, using ASP.NET okay so uh, normally we do not host raw codes to IIS so we have to build it and then publish it okay so uh, I will show you the locations published codes here and my location is here I was hosting web hosting this one okay Let's do a publish. Debug. No. Build. Publish. You can also publish website from here. Publish. Uh, custom. Enter a profile. Okay, anything. IIS hosting. Hosting website. not web deploy uh, it's a file system target location where it should be hosted okay so I will take this to the published codes not this one e drive publish codes where is it uh, I need to create a folder here folder where it would be hosted uh, published might have to select a release option from here for some reason it's not showing here but uh, if you do it properly you should see a release one okay codes published perfect so now you see the difference here this is the raw code the published codes okay there is no bin folder here we have a bin folder and there is a DLL file here and uh, web.config is still there the dot CS the uh, code behind files are, are uh, not here uh, hidden app data is not here so just the required things okay now we are going to publish this one okay so let's go back to um, the sites 
let's add uh, one more site mm, give it a name so for example IIS hosting SPX doesn't matter okay any name doesn't matter actually this has to be like a www dot file name uh, dot uh, website name dot com physical path should be mapped to our file location D drive uh, come on sorry E drive uh, E drive published codes IIS web hosting okay just the folder no file names okay just the folder unassigned will take me to um, localhost assign will take me to the IP address and any uh, suppose 55 port number HTTP or HTTPS up to you doesn't matter okay now this one IIS hosting okay here we go browse got it so this is the ASP.NET hosting okay so uh, even if I uh, close this one I'm gonna close this okay nothing no IIS here okay I can still copy this one sorry private window got it perfect if I would have put something in the submit button it would have redirected me so this is ASP.NET uh, yeah ASP.NET website hosting similarly you can do for MVC and stuff okay so you just have to publish the codes then uh, create a site on website uh, site on uh, IIS and then uh, change the port number um, if you want to give it a host name sometimes it doesn't work so I didn't prefer to give it a host name if you give it a host name then you'll have to make changes inside uh, another folder so that's a different story uh, we just use the IP address so the IP address works as well this IP address it could be the IP address for your local machine uh, two types of IP address it can also be the network IP address so if it's a network IP address anyone on this network should be able to access uh, this website that's hosted all right so that is all all right guys thanks for watching have a good day I'm sorry till then keep watching this channel and uh, stay happy happy coding thank you bye